Happy Tuesday. Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia. Hope everybody had a good weekend. We did have some Debbie issues this weekend coming through. Um, some high, not in a high winds. We had some winds and lots of rain. Um, we survived. I think some people in the area are without power. I don't know if they still are, but I know where I am, we're having cell phone issues. But other than that, we are good. I hope everyone in the past of Debbie is also doing well. My daughter is over, you know, uh, George Southern over near Savannah. So I know, I'm hoping she's okay because she went to work. I mean, she's fine, but I don't know. She showed me a picture of a huge tree that went toppled over a car. And at the time, there were, I think, they weren't sure if there were people in it or whatnot, but it was, it literally just took the, took the car in half. So I hope everybody's safe. All right. Um, what I want to talk about. So it was, it was rainy, got some knitting done, had some other stuff we needed to do. Um, my youngest is going off to college, we hope, Friday. No, he is. He is. Um, so we're trying to get things together for that. But I did get some knitting done, and I did get some casting on done. But before we talk about my projects, I had a thought. So um, I, my, we have lots of birthdays in August. Hello, Lynn and Cindy. Thank you for watching. Yes, Cindy, my parents said they're going to get a lot of rain, I think. I thought they said Thursday and Friday this week. Are you getting it now? Anyway. Oh, my sweater. I want to talk about that too. So this is the Magnolia. Um, I love wearing it. It is knitted, if you all remember, from the sleeve over. Instead of like in the round, you go, you know, over. And you seam it under the arm um, and the sleeve. I love it. Um, you can have a lot of fun with colors with this one too, I feel like. It's a fingering weight yarn. So total, totally fun. All right, so back to my basket. So for my family, I feel like almost all families have a month of the year that is like inundated with birthdays and anniversaries and whatnot. Um, hello, Teresa. Um, so our month in my family happens to be August. So in August, I have a birthday. My sister has a birthday. My daughter has a birthday. My mom has a birthday. And my mother-in-law had her birthday in August, too. So we have lots of female birthdays. It's funny. I just realized that. So for my sister, um, I had some ideas here in the shop that I actually was going to get her. But I thought I'd show other ideas for people that maybe you want to give a gift that are not knitters. So, of course, the first one is the crossbody. My sister loves color. Her favorite color is purple. Um, so this was an idea. I did not get her this, but I, I, I got her a... A, a partner of this. So this is the crossbody. Um, and I, what are we calling it? A multi, yeah, multicolor. So fun. And y'all have seen us show these before. I love my crossbody. Sometimes I wish I had more opportunity to use it. Um, but you know, it's got this little pocket here in the front and it's got some pockets inside too. It's just real handy and you will not believe the stuff that it'll hold. It will hold a project, but it doesn't have to be for a project. Um, so another thing I thought, again, purple, cause that's her color is these little box folding boxes that we have. I mean, I love it for my, my knitting notions. I have it sitting next to me, but I think you could use it for a lot of other things, especially like if, if you are, if you do a craft or something in one spot it's, and it's sturdy. So if you just go and grab it, you're not going to lose stuff out of it. So these are also, these are online. All this stuff is online, fuzzygoatyarns.com. Um, we have this little Swedish dish, dish cloth, which I think I might get her too. And it has a little um, beaver with yarn. So he's knitting. I just think that's really cute. So she would think about me. Um, so it's eco friendly. So there we go, dish cloth. These bag organizers are great for projects, um, but they're also good for anything for, for your bags when you want to switch out bags and things. Um, she is a musician, so I don't know if she'd use something like this. I thought about in her music bag, you know, kind of thing. We have at least two different sizes. This is the small. We have a large, and we may have some of the medium sizes. I can't remember if we still have more of those. But um, lots of different colors. This is called a bag organizer. So you can check that out on our website if you're interested. Then these little, these little guys can be projects, right? They can be little project things. Um, or they could be a little wallet, a little purse. They have um, little pockets inside. These are great. This one has little dogs on it. And let's see, I'll call them. Um, this is a hush puppy. 
wish I brought my glasses over. Uh, Notion zipper pouch, hush puppy. And then this one is also, this one is called Meadow. I love the pink one. And then inside, look at that pretty inside of that. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, so those would be a really fun gift. Great. It's a great um, wrist. Very sturdy, which I like that. Wrist strap, I guess you call it. Um, and this soap, we have Misty Mountains. Um, pretty, it's called Pretty Soap. It's a mint, cedar, and orange scent. It, went, it was in one of our, um, it was Y'all Box. And so I got my sister a bar of this. because I love getting soap, so I love giving them. My sister and I have this thing. I feel like sometimes when I give her her gifts, it's really, it's like an Oprah episode because I give her my favorite things, you know. So um, she'll be getting that. She also, we have these fun little pins, and she loves Star Trek, all that kind of stuff. This one says, uh, take up space. So I thought she might like that. It'd be cute. And, and then we also have these wallets. These wallets are awesome. So this is, I think I'm getting her this one. So it's a little smaller than the um, crossbody, but has lots of uh, places in here, pockets for things. Somebody also was telling me it's got this um, this little guy here. No, is that it? It must have been this. Oh, over here. Sorry. So you can hook it onto something. You know, if you want to, you know, uh, hook it on your backpack or something like that, you could do that. We also have it in green. I think we just ordered some more of these. These are, this is the multi-stripe wallet. And I think this one might be marine, uh, teal, teal. I am so bad. I just, we were just talking about the teal. I'm not good at that color. Um, okay, so I got two more things. Who cannot use the clip A, right? It's, you hook it on a bag. So you, when you're out in a restaurant, you hook it on a chair or a table so you don't have to sit on the ground. Anybody can use these. We have three different colors. We have um, black, uh, like a copper and gold, okay? Clip A. And then of course, one of my favorites is the blanket candle. So we got it in a travel tin. Um, it smells so good. This is a custom, custom scent for us. Hello, Nancy says she loves hold, hers. I'm guessing you're talking about the crossbody or the wallet. Um, anyway, so those were just some ideas I thought I'd, I'd mention because I am in that. Everything that comes in the shop right now, I'm like, oh, that'd be a good gift. That'd be good. My daughter also, I've gotten her that blanket candle. All right. And it's funny, I can think about that soap. I because I would give my girls soap, but that generation, like they don't use soap. Like she uses gel, body gels or whatever. So I think the soap concept is lost on them. For my kids at least. Um Diane, thanks for yeah, you caught me live. Hello, hello. All right, so something else new I wanted to show you all. This is just came in. Cadence, I believe, has gotten it up online. This is the new teal color mesh bag. And um, she has it online. What was I going to say about it? Oh, inside. I love mine. I, mine is not teal. Mine is olive, I think we call it. It has a little bag, a project bag inside. One side of it is, te I mean teal, is mesh. So you can see in it, which is awesome. It has scissors inside and a sheath. It has a shoulder strap. Did I put it on? I thought I did. Yeah, a shoulder strap. Also has these great um, handles. I'm funny about handles because sometimes like if you want to throw up on your shoulder, it needs to be long enough, but you don't want to get in the way. But yeah. And you can knit out of it if you wanted to. Um, it snaps. So just like your old snap bags. So this is the teal color. And like I said, it's the mesh bag. O snap. Uh, not O snap. Um, and it is up online. Okay. This has got that up for y'all online. Okay, and then there was one other thing I wanted to show you. Well, maybe I'll wait till I get to that project. Okay, so the sweater I'm wearing, um, uh-oh, Live Oak is waterlogged. Amy, I'm sorry about that. But at least you have power. That's good. We, Yeah, we got waterlogged yesterday. Decided to take my dogs for a walk in the middle of it because I thought it was lightening up. Anyway, so the sweater I'm wearing is um, Marigold using fingering weight yarn. All right, so let's start with, okay. Pasadena pullover is this cotton, and I have had to pull this one out, remember? So that was a little painful, both the front and the back. I was almost done. I was done with the back, and I was almost done with the front. I had to pull them both out. So I continued on the front, 
Okay, so I finished, got my armholes right where I needed to be. They're the, well, this side, I should say, the right length. But then it tells me when I finish the front, um, now match up the armholes to the back. So I was trying to figure out if I could figure out how long the back arm. So I've decided to put my front on hold. So really all I have to do here, I did the neck shaping, as you can see, and I have to finish the shoulder shaping on this side. And I'll need to do the shoulder on, on the, oh, that's nice. They're just popping right off there. On the other side, I'm just going to catch these if you don't mind. And these, this cotton just sits up real nice when you, you drop your needle or whatever. Um, it doesn't run like some of them will. Um, so anyway, so I do have, to, so I put the front on hold. I need to go back to the back. I did figure out, I took some time and figured out where I was on the back in the chart. And I had to, I had to go back before I started um, doing the armholes because that's where I messed up. So I'm at a point where I can start knitting on that too. So I'll probably work on that a little bit tonight. I do love the chart. It's really fun. So I've finished chart one and two and I got my markers in for chart three, if you can see it. And in the middle of chart, well, actually in near the end of chart three is where I'll do the shaping for the shoulder, for the armholes. So that's where we're at with the Pasadena pullover. So that back in there, Just shove it in there. All right. What else do I have on here? Oh, I am dying to finish this one. The Lanakai. And not because I'm done with it, because I just can't wait to wear it. I hope y'all can be like, ooh, you did work a lot on that. So, here it is. It's caught. All right, so this um, is using the flaxen, the silk linen. It is lovely, you guys. I'm actually thinking I might make something else out of it. Very soft. Um, the color that it, it picks, you know, you can see how pretty that is, vibrant. I think I have a couple more inches here to go on the side before I'll do the ribbing. I think they want me to get nine inches. And I think maybe I have six-ish or if I stretch it, I probably need to um, try it on. Um, but what I was going to say, I found out this weekend. So I'm doing this program challenge and it wants, I'm not a big reader. I never have been, but I love listening to books and I like a good book. But now that I knit so much, I don't want to take the time to read the book, right? I would like to listen to it. But the challenge that I'm doing requires you to read 10 pages every night, which is really not a lot. And it's a self-help book, you know, so there's really not a lot of words on each page. So it shouldn't take you very long. But I found out I can read while I'm knitting on this. Somebody else had told me that. I'm like, what? That's crazy. But as long as it's just um, stockinette, I can read. I can knit while I'm reading, which was really made me really happy. All so, right. This is the Lanakai tea using flaxen from um, Sweet Georgia. We do have some nice colors left in that. We have this color left in it, too. Okay, so that's going to be the next one I need to get done, right? I need to get it done so I can wear it. Of course, we have summer here for quite a long, quite a long time. Okay, so Shona. let me show you the Shona. The Shona, this is DK. I got into the, um, the lace work, and you can see it down there. I'm, I think I might have messed up the lace work. Not sure. And I'm not going to go back because how it works, I think there's like six or eight rows or something, and two of them are the same, and then it shifts, and then three of them are the same, and it shifts. So it's only off slightly if it's off. So um, I have to do the repeat, I think, three times. And like I said, it's eight rows, so 24 rows. Or I could do it more or less. But um, I am just started, I think, the second repeat. So I'm just going to pay attention. I, I'm feel like, and maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't remember. It, I mean, it actually looks like the chart, which is why I love a chart, right? Because you, I'm like, is that coming out the way the chart is? And I think it is, so I may be fine. I don't remember the repeat shifts, so I don't know if I was supposed to shift my markers, and I didn't, so that's, that's why I'm wondering. But it, if it's off, it's off ever so slightly. So this I might slow down on. I love it, but it's it's gonna it's a little warmer for I can't wear it right now. And I have a couple others that I really really want to get started so I can wear now. Like the Lanakai is one of them. Okay, so this was the Shona tee. Um, we have it linked on our website under any DK yarn. I'm using Echo Baby. Is it under? I know it's under Echo Baby. Um, I'll make sure it's on other DK, but any DK you can use for that. All right. Um, let's 
go to my holiday sweater. Again, this is probably I thought I'm going to go, you know, in hibernation here in a little bit, just for a little while. But I did get a little further. I think I got another, yeah, I got another light in there. And I'm just starting, what am I starting? I think I'm starting the color work with the string. Oh, no, I think I'm in an in increase round. That's right. That's where I am. Is that right? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure where I am with this. This is so fun. And it's just so fun to see the lights. And I just, it's just really fun. So we had somebody ask today about they wanted to do the sweater. And if we had the light color for the lights. And what we do have in Emma's Hella Hanks are, is this. This is Disco, which I think would be fabulous for Christmas lights. And if you wanted a more pastel look, this would also work. This is You Glow Girl. So we have these in the pop-up. Hella Hanks, Emma's Hella Hanks. I think they would be really fun. This is very similar to the one I'm using, I think. So anyway, if you, if you wanted to go off, off on your own, you have the lights here. We can we can help you with that. All right. Um, I'm working on this one is for my mom for her summer birthday. I don't think I'm going to make it, but that's okay. I'm almost there. This is agave, and we do have kits on this too. I feel like I made progress, right, you guys? I think I did. I have, um, so how it works is this is one big flower on the bottom. And I have to do six of these medium ones. So you can see I have one, two, three. I think I'm on my fourth. And I also have marked where I, something, the armholes are going to be right here. So you can see that little marker there. After three, she tells you to put a marker um, on either side to indicate where the armholes will go. I, so once I finish the six of this medium one, then I'll do one of the of the smallest flower. So it really goes very fast. And again, you can kind of do this one without looking because it's only this part that you really need to pay attention. So, and that's agave. And we do have kits on that too. Unfortunately, we are out of this particular color, but we have some other it's copper. We have a natural color and uh, like a blue. Yeah. All right, so agave, I'm getting there. I'm sorry, guys. Um, oh, this one is, has been fun. So I find myself wanting to go to this one. This is the one I almost threw out the window because I was getting really frustrated because I didn't read the directions correctly. This is, let's see if I can find a picture. This is the pleated top. It's using, I think, a lightweight, really ridiculous how many patterns I have going right now. This is a pleated top right here. Um, and it is a lightweight fingering. I'm using Fino, which is a wool and um, it's got 30% like silk in it. A lovely hand. This is, there really aren't any pleats in it, which is kind of cool. I think there's something that happens right around here, maybe lower. Um, it's just a pearl, it's a rib, a three by one rib. And this is my original cast on because I believe I will be picking that up to do the neckline. So this is, let's see how it's going to go. This is, oh, this is the back. This is my back. Um, so I get to a point right now I'm, I'm increasing on either side for like through here is what I'm guessing. Right. And I then you have a choice um, to do it flat or in the round. I think we talked about this. I am probably going to do it in the round. It's purling and knitting. So even if I do it flat or in the round, I just feel like I'm getting further when I do it in the round, you know? So I think it is still pieced. I think I'll do the same thing for the front. And then you have a choice if you want to go in the round with it or back and forth. So there you go. And again, it's, it's Fino. Love it. I love the Fino. We also have a Fino pop-up. So uh, Fino is by Manos and you know, is the yarn. And we have lots of fun colors. For the size I'm making for this pleated top, I, I have two skeins. Not sure how much of it I'll use. I believe this yardage is like 490 yards on the, the Fino. So it's very generous. Please check it out. Check it out. If you need, have any patterns calling for like a light, a, a light fingering kind of situation. All right. So that was the pleated top. Okay. So this one, 
pretty excited about this one too. Let me show you. That's why this one I feel like I want to wear that one that I just showed you. And then this one. Well, where did it go? No, I know it's in here. Because I did my gauge swatch. I did my gauge watch, but I haven't cast on yet. Well, pull that out. Got to show you that one too. Nope. Sorry. It must be this. I just can't. Yep, that is it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Ah. I don't know where the, the front page is. Oh, here it is. That's why I couldn't find it. This is um, Wild Flowers by, what's her name? Uh, Tef, Tiff Nealon, I think it is. I've done a couple of her patterns before. They're a very, they're simple, but like with just a little, keep you know, enough to keep you interested. There's, I'm trying to see if I can show you better pictures. She doesn't have one close up, but there's like a little up here. It's a little braid situation going on or something. A cable. It's kind of cool. So um, I really want to get this one going. And let me show you the yarn that I have queued up because I did do my gauge swatch. It is bad sheep and it just kind of makes me happy. So I'm feeling the need to get going on that. And it's a lot. I have a lot of projects. I'm not going to lie. So. I'm going to have to just kind of focus. focus. So here's my gauge swatch. This is on a six, which is also really nice because um, the pleated one, I think, might be on a two. But a six, I could probably work on that and, and see some progress. So I'm using that sheet. And I think the color is hibiscus. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Zinnia. Zinnia is the color. Oh, my gosh. It makes me so happy. I hope you can see... The pleats, or, or I mean the definition on top. Here's the skein. Round up. Isn't that fun? But I just love it so much. I don't, I don't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, um, yes, wild flowers. Two different words. Sometimes I think Ralphie is so funny, like how, how it doesn't pick up on stuff immediately. Like, you know, you, you have the words in there, but there's a space. So it is wild flowers. Fingering weight. Okay. And then one other thing that I did cast on. And this is fun. So people, if, if you have a single skein of a fingering weight yarn, um, I have the project for you. This is going to be a rectangular shawl scarf situation. I guess it's a scarf. It's also on a six, so it'll go really fast. It's this right here. My sister has decided she loves the rectangular ones, a little lacy. Um, I'm using Knitwise that has some silk in it. So lovely. So it'll be around her neck. It'll be soft. And it has all the colors in it without being, right, being too, um, too colorish, colorful, not colorish. Anyway, so um, I think that's all I have, uh, which is a lot. I know I have a lot of projects going, but they're all fun and they bring me all, they all bring me joy. So I just decide what kind of joy I want and how, you know, this was one repeat like I did on that. I'm like, if I could sit and do a repeat like every couple days I might see some progress and I think you just go on that one until you're done um it calls for 400 yards of a fingering weight I think I, I think this yarn has a little bit more than that but anyway it's oh I didn't tell you the name of that it's Lada Lace Scarf and it's L-A-T-A-A L-A-T-A-A -A -A, um Lace Scarf if anybody's interested in that Okay, so I had a lot of stuff. I'll try to put the links up of all the little fun things that I showed you too. Um, let us know if um, you, if we can help you with anything. If you have any questions, you want to see some yarns together, um, we are here for you. You can call us, text us, or um, email us. And do check out our website, fuzzygoatyarns.com. Have a great week, and we'll catch up next week. Look forward to it. Bye.